Well, guess what, folks? It's time for another episode of No One Gives a Shit About What You're Doing in Your Quarantine and What You're Eating Because You're Fat and Disgusting, Miss Sloppy Peaches! I'm the Flavor Pig, and I'm dying alone! Ooh. Oh, Jesus, just bit me in the eye! Stupid. Once again, audience of one, she'll be leaving soon. Trust me, I'm a walker. Long story short, folks, I needed a midday snack. I went for it. I do what I do best, is I look through the fridge and look for crap that I can cook up. <coughs> and uh, get rid of. Because it's been sitting in the freezer for about 20 years. Who's with me, sweetie? Get on my shoulder, I'll kill you. Okay. So, folks, this is what I did today. Uh, a lot of you are probably not going to like this one, but um, if you haven't felt the tone of the show yet, I don't give a fuck. Hey, who's with me? See, sloppy pink Jesus. <laughs> she lives in a cage. Okay, folks. Here we go. This right here is... I, look, I took chick, uh, I think I took chicken and pork dumplings and um, put them in a saute pan with a little extra virgin olive oil, um, sauteed them up, and then what I did was I threw some uh, cherry tomatoes into saute. A lot of you are like, why, why cherry tomatoes? One, one day I, I threw some cherry tomatoes in with my, um, with my pot stickers or dumplings or whatever you want to call these things. <clears throat> and then I threw a little soy sauce and uh, rice wine vinegar uh, and let it all saute up on low heat. I also seasoned it with salt and pepper. Um, and I'm telling you guys, a lot of you don't know this, but this is a good, good snack. You can throw this over some white rice or, uh, or even some noodles. Throw some noodles on that thing. Uh, dipping sauce, soy sauce, and white uh, rice vinegar. And I'm telling you, you guys are going to have a beautiful, delicious midday snacky poo. Who likes snacky poos, huh? I know that Peaches does. Look at her. She's so dumb. She's like, who's that other bird in your phone? I am kill me. She's sleeping. Audience number one, sleeping. So I'm going to plate this real quick so you get to see a little bit of this in action. Oh, my God. This is going to be so delicious. Cherry tomatoes and pot stickers. A lot of you are like, this is not going down. And you're wrong. <laughs> it's going down hard. And I'm probably going to shit my feathers just like me did. <laughs> Hey, man, a lot of you have been putting up videos talking about wanting to get out. I get it. I get it. Who wants to be stuck in your little apartment or your your house with your significant other that drives you freaking crazy? Who wants that? A lot of people are like, oh, I want to go back to work. I'll just suffer the consequences uh, or I'll just get the virus. I'd rather get the virus and, and not have to deal with, you know, my business closing. It's like, how dumb are you? So you rather risk your life than to risk your business? Is that what you're saying? Is, is that is that the lowdown? Is that the mentality you got? And not only risk your own life, you morons, you're risking other people's lives, which you just don't think about. Because, oh, I gotta make a dollar. Oh, I get my business. I worked 17 years on my business. Well, start another one, guy. Because if your business can't survive, Three months, four months of being closed, and maybe it wasn't that good of a business to begin with. All right? And I, I, I feel for you people that want to be out there. They want to be working. I want to be working, too. I want to be making a living. I want to be doing what I love to do. Which is making videos with sweet pages. Kill me. But at the same time, think of other people's lives. Because while my dad suffers in a hospital bed, which was initially a neck injury, and now it's corona, I'd much rather have my dad 
than my shitty business. You get what I'm saying there, yeah, cupcakes? So sit in your fucking ass, watch your television, all right? Eat, get a little fat, and enjoy your life. Your businesses will be there or they won't be there. We're going to have to deal with that later. But who I want to be there is me and my loved ones. So sit in your ass and eat a fucking dumpling with cherry tomatoes. All right. That is Pig's Kitchen. Sorry for the politicalness.